Doing the toilet installation. This is a toilet to the back wall installation. Now come with this pipe. You get a bar, you cut and adjust. I've put a laser level here now. You can see these green lines. I've got the height right, and I've got this line here where the edge of the pipe in here is. So I've got the, the height, and the, from this part here coming to here to this edge, I've got that measurement and obviously to the unit where it sits against the back wall. Those measurements are here from the floor to there and from here back to the wall. Now this is a little bar so when you push the toilet on it's not going to fall, that'll hold it. It'll give it stability, stability of the poo utility. So now I'm going to slide it in. Mind me a minute. I don't want to chip it. That's all flanged in. Oh. Not easy, Jan. Not bloody easy. I'm having trouble getting that pushed on, and I don't want it to slip and the ball, the toilet bowl smash against the tiles and chip. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a blanket here. I'm gonna, I'm thinking outside of the realm. So what I'm gonna do is do it like a floor mount toilet. I'm just gonna push that on here. Oh yeah, that would've been hard. Get the fuck in there, will ya? What's going on? Okay, let's see if that's going to go down the, the popper. silicon the mongrel down. And then when it's dry, it'll be tight as poop and ready to use. So let me mark the floor. Now, I don't know if you can see the floor or not, but I've got a pencil line there, and I'm gonna mask to that. This, this silicon, this pencil line, is inside the outside rim when it hits the floor. So it's underneath. So this is gonna go all the way around that pencil line there. All right, I've siliconed around the tape there and a bit underneath the S-band that's gonna kiss on that blob of silicon there. Now I'm gonna hover it over that. So excuse me from bending in front of you for a minute. And I've chipped a slither off it there, but luckily it's down the bottom. I can put it back on and hide it with white silicon. I was careful as buggery and I still chipped it. So tape, keep that in. It's cushioned, it's sealed there. I'm gonna clean this off. You gotta 
gotta push it a little harder. Someone asked me how I did the rows on a toilet roll. It's one of the most easiest folds. Forever left in a toilet roll. Probably about five of them. Just fold it in half downwards, okay? Grab your finger, fold it in half, just grab your finger and just curl it and make a row. This is the edge, this is the rose face here. So you're just gonna make a rose, twist it around, twist it around, come to the end, that hole where your finger is, I hope you can see this, this is just a bit of trivia, you're going to push that bit through, they're only making roses out of bloody toilet paper, anyway you pull that through the guts of it like that, okay, pretty easy to do, it's what hotels do in their five star suites and there's your there's your rose fold on the toilet roll. Pretty easy, wasn't it, eh? Anyway, let's get back to fitting this pan in. I'm just pulling the tape off. And that's why it was under, because I wanted this silicon not protruding out. I wanted it tucked right under. So when I put my white silicon on there, it's gonna dress it detail to finish. Because I did not want to rub that silicon oil on the tile once you get silicon on these tiles you can get a blade and everything to get it off but you're still going to have that residue there so now that's ready to seal up and these screw holes i'll just screw the cap back on top because once your silicon's dry this ain't moving people ask silicon won't hold that silicon is very strong you stop and think Glass is just butt joint together in a fish tank. You can have a six foot long fish tank that's just butt joined with silicon. And that pressure in a six foot fish tank, believe me, is a lot of pressure. And if silicon can hold that, it can hold a measly dunny seat like that with a 100 kilo person sitting on it. Now I've got the system to go on, but where this screws up to it is a bit tight. So I'm gonna put that on first and then feed it through the hole. And I've got these that are gonna go inside the system and screw down. And there's a rubber flange that'll go there as well. So to make things easier, I'm gonna use my initiative or intuition or whatever that word is you use to call it, to get it done the way I feel it's gonna be done appropriately. Now these flexi pipes, you don't want these kinked. I had one in my bathroom on my toilet here. Many years ago, it was kinked, old. I didn't know their, their time bombs waiting to go off. When you kink them, that's how my house, a lot of my followers know that my house flooded. It was this pipe that blew out. When you have a kink in it, all the hard particles in domestic water over the years slowly file it away and bang, it blows out like a tire. So I've written the date on here when this pipe was installed. They say five years, I'm giving it four years, and I'll replace it, okay? Because the guys that came and vacuumed all the water out of my house, house from the insurance company, they said out of every five houses they go to, it's these pipes first and it's flooding houses out. And it does a lot of damage. Righto. That's ready. Let's get this in. <clears throat> I had to swap, this valve was on that side, I had to swap it to that side and all the mechanisms were inside of it because my tap's on the right hand side here. So hence, I'm gonna put that gasket on, yes. I'll line it up with those screw marks down there, which is there. Beautiful. Screw these in here tight. Then this, filler will be screwed on to the water inlet and that's the float that will tell the water valve when to turn off so it won't overflow. I'm just going to screw this on now. Turn the fucking camera off. Now I'm going to put this float water valve thing, whatever it is, 
to the, the hose pipe that comes in. It's going to screw into there. There's a little Phillips head nut on that. I can adjust to the water level. These holes at the back, I don't know what, sometimes you can have toilets that have the fitting coming through the wall and you can connect them through there, but mine's an old style toilet, so it's coming up from down there. But that's why those holes are there. The water will fill up under that level. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna turn the valve, water valve on. See if we've got no leaks. I hope there's no leaks. So you're going to witness me first flush. I don't know where it's going to stop. This is the first time I'm installing one of these toilets. But common sense is telling me how to do it. Okay. That pipe has a bit of a leak there. I can't have that because it's going to constantly overflow. But let me just try the button. Got to shut the water off, take this off, and get it on a lot more length than what it is. And before we go, we'll just do another toilet fold. Um, which way do I want to go? This way. Yeah, I'll go this way. We'll make a leaf. When you fold toilet paper, always press it, okay? And a leaf is one of the simplest and effective ones to do. Just simply find the thickness and zigzag it back and forward just like that being sure to press it down if you don't press it things happen the way you don't want them to happen all right but you, you're sitting on the toilet you're doing a bit of a poop you got some guests coming over and you want to impress so you just simply do this while you're pooping away too easy okay you've done that press it like I said okay lift this corner here up come back and see that bit just simply fold that corner to this corner of the fold there like so hold it and press that down it's important to press see you like you're ironing now what you're going to do is simply bring that out okay and you have a leaf. So the toilet's all installed. Now tomorrow, I'll come along and that gap there where it's hitting the floor and the back wall, I'm gonna rub in there with silicon. And I'm just gonna do a short video, how to silicon tiles to bench tops, toilet pans to toilet floors, and so on. How to do it like a pro without making a mess.